Hi friends, I'm Jana Eubank for Hip Kit Club and I'm here to share with you my first layout using the November Hip Kits. Now along with the November kits this month, they released a beautiful clear stamp set that's the large numbers. These large numbers coordinate with the number background stamp that was released in September so that you could stamp these numbers inside of that outline number background. But today I'm going to be using both of these stamps, stamps separately. I'm going to be using these stamps to stamp out the year for a new year Eve layout, but these would also be perfect to uh, stamp out the year or the grade for school layouts. Maybe you're working on Christmas countdown and you want to do the 12 days of Christmas or 25 days of Christmas, or these would even be great to use on your calendar projects. For my layout today, like I mentioned before, I'm going to be stamping the year on this layout, but I want to show you how you can do some two-tone shadow stamping using these solid stamps. So the first thing I did was stamped out the year using the do -si do pink ink that was in the color kit and then I also stamped these numbers onto some post-it notes. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut out these numbers and then I'm going to place them right on top of the numbers that I've already stamped out on my white cardstock. I'm going to stamp out all four numbers so that I can cover all of these numbers with post-it notes. The next thing I'm going to do is use the same stamp obviously but this time I'm going to ink it up with the skylight ink and you can see that I'm going to just stamp over each of these numbers offsetting the numbers slightly and doing it right over the top of the post-it notes. Now you want all four of those post-it notes to be on there because you don't want the two that is overlapping to go on to the number next to it so that is why I did all four of those post-it notes. So we'll go ahead and stamp all of these again I'm offsetting them to the right a little bit it. And then here is the fun part, the grand reveal. So this is a lot of fun. You could also outline these with a pen or do some glitter work. I'm going to fussy cut these out and then I'm going to use the stardust butter paste that came in the color kit to add some sparkle to this title that I'm uh, to these numbers that I'm going to be using as a title. So like I mentioned, this is going to be for a layout about New Year's Eve. Now, New Year's Eve is never exciting around my house. We're pretty tired after the holidays and so you know the kids usually go hang out with their friends and watch movies or go ice skating or do something like that but the older kids we just kind of hang out watch movies you know watch TV do some really boring stuff and so <laughs> I kind of laugh because I never have any great pictures to uh, document New Year's Eve so these pictures that I'm scrapbooking today are me and my oldest daughter uh, my eyes are all puffy I'm super tired because I'm trying to stay up normally I just go to bed. In fact, my husband had already fallen asleep on this particular night like he usually does. And um, we have a bunch of neighbors that do fireworks. I don't know. We're just kind of lazy about New Year's Eve. We don't even go outside and look at them. We just snapped a few pictures, waited for the kids to get home from their friends' houses to make sure they were all, um, you know, home safe and sound. And then we just go to bed. So it's a pretty boring holiday around here. I don't know how it is for you, but I thought I at least it would make a fun layout using these stamps. Now, I love using numbers for New Year's Eve layouts because, you know, you're counting down to midnight, right? So I thought that this number background would be perfect for that. Initially, I thought about putting some pattern paper strips on the left and right edges of this layout or yeah the layout of my background but after I go ahead and stamp this background number offsetting them slightly you know kind of bouncing them up and down a little bit I, I decide that I don't like how the strips look on the side. I also figured out that I didn't stamp this uh, row of stamps very centered on my layout. So I went ahead, I'm going to go ahead and trim down that background and I'm going to change up the way that I'm using my strips. In fact, I'm just going to place them horizontally like you can see here and I'll layer those up. I really wanted to use that confetti dot because it reminds me of, you know, the party and and New Year's Eve when you're uh, doing your party blowers and things like that. But I end up just using those two pattern papers that you see there, the green plaid and then that color blocked stripe. So now I'm going to pick out a, another cardstock that I can matte this background layer on. And I decided to go with the fuzzy pink because I wanted it to tie back into the pink of my title 
year. So I'm going to gut out the center of this. I will use that center portion to mat the photos, but I'll go ahead and adhere that holly, let's see, it's called holly bush, that minty green background layer to that fuzzy pink cardstock, and I really like how that looks. So I will grab the, um, lay the photos and I will go ahead and double mat those. Now I, I'm going to use that pink because it will tie in with the numbers and also the background border, but I do double mat these with the evergreen as well, which is the darkest green in the cardstock kit. I really like that pink and dark green together and I feel like not only does it tie that darker green tie back in with the plaid green strip that is below, but it helps those photos to stand out against that minty green holly bush cardstock that is in the background. Now before I adhere these photos, I am going to sprinkle the background with a bit with a bit of this ruby spritz that came in the color kit. This red color is not too dark red. It's almost more of a magenta color, which I think is great. Now one word of warning, whenever you use a red splatter ink or red ink on something, you want to use it sparingly sparingly and I'll tell you why it will look like blood <laughs> big droplets of blood or a blood bath if you do too much of it so just just use a little bit so I like that the while that's over there drying I like that it adds like a confetti feel to the background with the splatters but again we're, we just did a, a few drops so that it doesn't look like I don't know, a crime scene, right? <laughs> so while I was adhering those photos down, I was looking down at that color blocked strip and I don't know, it was just begging to be cut into a fringe. So I pulled out my fringe, scissor, fringe scissors and went ahead and fringed that. And then I decided to add a second layer uh, and fringe that as well. So I will go ahead and use my fringe scissors on that, adhere that to the page, strip above it or strip below it. And I'm going to cap off the top of that with a the snowflake strip from the fuzzy pink cardstock. And I really like how that looks. Now I will go ahead and place my title and then I will eventually have my journaling overlap these strips across the bottom. Before I do that though, I want to add some more accents to the top. And what I decided to do was to pull in some fussy cut flowers. I love using flowers on almost any layout because you have all of these straight edges, right? When you have strips or blocks or photo mats. And so you need something organic to break up those straight lines. Flowers are perfect for this. So I went ahead and fussy cut out all the flowers of the shared love paper and I'm just, I used two smaller clusters on the left and top sides, and then I used a large cluster on the right. Now to the right of the number title, there is a little space, and so I'm looking for something to fill that in. I decide to go with this circle die cut from the main kit, and it says sparkle season, which I think is perfect for New Year's Eve. Even though a lot of the items in this kit are geared towards the holidays or Christmas, the there's a lot of things that will work for New Year's Eve as well. So I use that sparkle season with the candle. I have the, I also pulled out the silver foil star die cuts, and now I'm going to add my, um, journaling here. Now, normally I do single line journal strips, but for this layout, because I already had lots of strips going on at the bottom, I decided to, I decided to do chunkier journal strips by putting two lines together in each strip. And I think that works out well. It overlaps the strips on the bottom a lot better. And I really like how that looks. So this layout is almost done. The last thing I want to do, I've I thought I might add a phrase or something here at the top uh, next to this floral piece. So I'm going to, I'm just flipping through some of the tabs. I picked out the sil silver foil chipboard tab from the embellishment kit. And then I'm also using a blush tab that I die cut from the pocket life kit. I'm stamping that tab with uh, the word memories from the pocket life stamp. And then I'm just going to adhere these at the top of the photo. The silver one I'm tucking behind the pink mat and then the pink one I'm tucking behind the evergreen uh, mat so they kind of layer over one another. I love the way this page turned out. The fringe was a lot of fun to do. If you don't have fringe scissors, Hip Kit Club has a fringe border die that would work just as well. I just happened to have my fringe scissors handy so I went ahead and used that. You And just a reminder that you're going to want to pick up the number stamp set, both the number background from September and the large numbers from November. These complement one another perfectly and are 
are good for school layouts, uh, New Year's Eve layouts, Christmas countdowns, calendar projects, and more. My name is Jana Eubank for Hip Kit Club. Thanks for crafting with me today. See you next time.